Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, a kingdom was prospering. But peace could only last so long. The old king died. With no descendant to the throne, the kingdom fell into chaos. Lust for power blinded warriors and wizards alike. New kings emerged only to fall the next day. But the madness of men would soon be overshadowed by a far greater evil. The magic that once gave life and good fortune had transformed into something sinister. One by one, grave by grave, the dead began to rise, feeding off the energy that grew stronger with each passing night. Fear spread throughout the kingdom, and it was soon abandoned. On the outskirts of the kingdom, near the Astral Academy, a thief carried out her cunning plan. She had learned of an ancient object of tremendous value. The Astral Academy, left to rot in the face of the terrible enemy, had no one to keep the treasure safe. The time was right. Everything was perfect. She had made her way to the castle and would soon lay her hands on the treasure she so desired. gentle moon smiled at the thief as she made her way towards the shrine of ancient treasure. Strangely, the protective charms around the shrine allowed her... it. As the thief lay her hand on the treasure, she had a tingling sensation. The thief would soon discover that fate had taken hold of her. Unknown to the thief, a wizard was just waking up. The wizard had taken a look in the spyglass and seen the terrible undead army. He was keen not to die. By my trousers, I must escape. He had been studying the stars and trying hard to learn the elusive fireball spell that all wizards ought to know. Of course, that was a lie. For you see, the wizard had a certain reputation with the ladies. What he had really been up to was the creation of a fake fireball potion that would have impressed the ladies and improved his status. The potion had backfired, causing a fortnight of sleep.
My darling, why the painful look on such a pretty face? What is this object you are holding on to? How did you get here? The wizard touched the thief's hand, and then the object. His hand got stuck. What kind of trickery is this? For once, the wizard was more interested in magic than anything else. He was also afraid for his dear life. But there was someone nearby who welcomed a challenge. At the other end of the Astral Academy, a knight had been practicing his own skills to battle the undead and prove himself worthy of joining the king's army. Between me and you, he did not quite understand what undead meant, but this was his chance to be the bravest knight of all. The knight felt it was his duty to protect the Astral Academy during this time of despair. He was on the lookout for anything unusual. Knight saw a faint light coming from the age-old shrine. Could there be a thief? Was this the knight's day of honor? He had sworn an oath to himself to protect the shrine and the academy. Nothing could stand in his way. What's going on? The knight joined in, taking a firm grip of the object's third side, in a way that only a mighty warrior can. Oh no, is bode well? What does it bode well? There was a flash of light, and the wizard, the thief, and the knight simply disappeared. Our new heroes were overwhelmed by the effect of the mysterious object. The wizard tried hard to remember everything he'd learned of the shrine and its artifact. His mind raced through ancient tales and legends. Finally, the wizard remembered. The treasure, the ancient object, was a device that could bind souls together. How it worked, he did not know. 
but he knew that it was connected to the legend of the Guardian, whose earthly remains had been buried in the catacombs deep underneath the Astral Academy. The tomb resided right below the shrine. The wizard could not explain it, but he was sure the object was called the Trine. The knight didn't care. A more pressing concern was on his mind. It's all her fault. We must take her into custody. She stole the king's treasure! Did you not understand a word I said? It is not treasure. It's an ancient object, the trine. I believe it has bound our souls. We are stuck together. But she... The thief remained silent. She was waiting for the right moment to escape, hopefully with the treasure and without the pair of fools. Hmm. I think I know how we can use the device as we like. <laughs> they don't scare me. Oh, God! Oh, what have I got myself into? We have to find a way to reverse the spell, to undo the magic. The tomb of the Guardian in the catacombs may have the answer, and it's not far away. Oh, that's just great.
They don't like us being here. This looks very nice. <laughs> Perhaps this journey isn't for nothing. Let's strike a deal. I'll help you find whatever you're looking for, and I get to keep all the jewellery. <clears throat> I must say, that necklace looks very good on you. It's a deal. Captain Beerheart would not approve of this.
What lay ahead of our heroes was unknown. They had not seen another man, woman, or child in ages. The undead had transformed everything. They were now surrounded by evil. But our heroes had to press on. They were in search of the tomb. The wizard was sure that it would belong to the founder of the Astral Academy, one of the three guardians. If they could find his tomb, perhaps they would find a spell to get them out of the trine. Where are we? We are beneath the Astral Academy. No one has been here for decades. Aha! My sword shall lead the way! <laughs> Follow me!
Look at that! It must be the tomb! Yes, you are correct. This is the tomb of the Guardian. It has inscriptions all over it. As the wizard read the inscriptions, legends of artifacts began to emerge. There had once been three Guardians, each with an artifact to protect. The Trine was an artifact of the soul and righteousness and a catalyst for the powers of good that had quietly helped raise young, good-hearted wizards in the Astral Academy. The two remaining artifacts were mentioned only briefly. The second artifact that pertained to mind and power had been stored in the great castle in the middle of the kingdom.